Welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Locals uh, Chronicles, where, yes, once again, it's that time again, the weekly Locals, and I might not be bringing Galaxy Eyes this time. Uh, I've been talking with a friend who has parts for an Ancient Gear deck, he's going to bring that, I'm going to try, I have the vast majority of an Ancient Gear deck already, like I'm just missing a couple of cards from the extra deck, and a lot from the main deck, and um, yeah, so might do it with Ancient Gears this week, but I have made some changes to this, I have bought some cards, so the, like, the list isn't like fully there yet, like one of the cards that I have purchased is Hyper Galaxy because after looking up a few lists, I've seen a lot of people play it, and I think it's actually a phenomenal card. One, it's searchable, and two, it's non-targeting removal. Plus, it's a plus for me because I get to, you know, should be one of their monsters, um, and one of mine, and get out a Galaxy Eyes, so or something like that. I don't know, I, I, I've been playtesting on YGO Pro and YGO Omega. YGO Omega can kiss my ass, by the way, because it keeps giving me shite hands. Um, so what is the plan of action for today? Well, um, I'm going again with friends. Yes, I have uh, two friends coming down, uh, one from Slane, one from Dublin. They've been on this before one of them was the last time you seen him was for the final episode of Road to Locals. Um, he's the one that I got the dub off of for the very first Locals. Um, my other friend, he was there for the second one. Obviously, he wasn't there last week. Um, and then I have another friend who lives locally. He will be doing it this week. He couldn't do it last week because he was working. And then the fourth friend, well, he's working, so... Yeah, I mean, he could have went last week, but he just didn't. Uh, reasons. He did say that, that, that there was reasons. He just wasn't feeling well. So that's not me like, getting a dig off at him there. Um, so yeah, I have to finish getting ready because I don't know how long uh, until my bus. But the reason I came in here, because as of filming this on the 8th of September, uh, one thing that I do love uh, is Star Trek. Um, and it's Star Trek Day. You know, this day, 58 years ago, the very first episode of Star Trek uh, premiered. So I, in celebration, will be wearing my Star Trek pin um, from Prodigy, uh, as well as some of the future episodes of Star Trek. And yeah, so going to go finish getting ready and head in. I actually did forget something. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go quickly grab this is what I forgot. It's a it's an ancient uh, not an ancient gear. It's an unchained mat that for one of my friends who bought it. He I was left here for him, so I need to go bring that to him now. So I'm at the bus stop, and it is basically completely dead. Um, yeah, there's very like it's nine o'clock. There's very few cars going. Like I do see a bus uh, there. I'm hoping my bus still comes. Because um, when I went to see how long I had, it said scheduled for five past nine instead of saying how many minutes away it is. So, like it did when I checked after I got out of the shower. So, I don't know. Um, just have to, just have to wait and see. Probably just, probably just pick up the medication after. Oh. Sorry, bro. What's the crack, man? Owen is not here at all yet. Is he not? No. Nah. What's the crack with you? How are you keeping? Yeah. Huh? Okay, so for the vlog, um, I have never tried boba. Um, never tried boba tea. 
And so, thankfully, a friend of mine, Gerald, bought me mine to um, to give it a try. So, unfortunately, this is like the angle that I have to go for. I have to like literally bend down to to get this shit. Um, so, uh, let's yep, stick it in. Stab it in. There we go. Four times charm. And uh, let's uh, let's see what I think. I'll stay in again. Not now. Possibly. Dude, the bad one's bomb, bro. But uh, the dumpling one. Dumplings. I don't know. I prefer the boiled. I don't. I, 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 I don't know how how I how how I feel. I swear to God, it's just I think it's more salt. It has soup in it almost. <laughs> I got some of the balls. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Ugh. No, that's not for me. Yeah. That is definitely not for me. Pop in your mouth. No, I, I didn't pop in my mouth. I just swallowed them whole. Oh no! Don't do that! Don't do that! Just as a bite into them, and they'll burst the flavor. Trust me. Yeah. No, I, I see texture. aftertaste and texture is what's killing me. Yeah. That that's the problem with autism. So I'm sorry, bro, that you're wasting money I on this. But um. At least I know. At least, at least I know. At least I know. Loser. Okay, time to open the entry pack and see what it is that I get. Let's see, we have Raider's Wing, Heaven of Light, and Shavara. I got that last one. What did you get? Fire King Island. Huh, nice. It's dead for now, but if I get one or two of the Fire Kings, I can maybe sub tech into the Dinosaur deck. Yeah. Okay, we have a friend has asked me to open up their pack. Uh, let's, let's see what it is we get. We have Redux Dragon Ruler of Boulders. We have Rank Up Magic Skip Force and Fusion Tag as the super rare. Round 1 I'm paired with my friend William playing True King Dino and I don't really have the best track record with this deck. I win the die roll and opt to go second. My hand is Double Photon Jumper, Photon Orbital, Galaxy Expedition and Imperm. So not the best opening hand. William starts with Fossil Dig adding Miscellaneousaurus. He then activates Misk sending it to Grave protecting his dinos then banishes it to Special Summon Armadored Archosaur. Then using its effect to pop Petit Terradron adding pill to hand, then Petite's effect special summons Xenometrios. He then normal summons Soul Eating Oviraptor, using its effect to add Baby to hand. He then uses Xenometrios's effect to pop the baby to special summon a normal dino monster. This also locks him into only being able to special summon dinos, dragons, sea serpents, or worm monsters from the extra deck, which doesn't really matter for the deck. So he brings out Frostosaurus. Then the baby's effect triggers on Rez, bringing out another baby. He then makes Lars, then Ovi pops the baby to bring back baby, then the popped baby gets its effect to bring out Scrap Raptor, to which he uses its effect to pop itself to gain an extra normal summon of a Scrap Monster. With Scrap Raptor's other effect, he can add a non-tuner Scrap Monster, so he adds Chimera to hand. After that, he links into Pentestag. He then uses the extra normal summon from Raptor to summon Chimera, and attempts to use its effect to bring back Raptor from Grave. But this is where I use my Imperm, which didn't really matter as he links into Scrap Wyvern, uses its effect to bring back Raptor from Grave, which he then pops to bring out the fridge and pops the baby for the third time and brings out Giant Rex off baby's effect. He proceeds to use the fridge to bring back Raptor again. My opponent overlays into Lagia, then links into IP. He uses Double Evolution Pill to bring out Ultimate Conductor Tyranno and his turn. I draw for turn, normal summon jumper and then use orbital to attach itself to jumper and then pop orbital in hopes of his effect going off which thankfully it does so I add galaxy trace which I then try to activate by paying 2000 light points but it gets negated and I pass. William draws for turn and normal summons raptor then links into world sword dragon. If he can successfully attack he wins but thankfully I had the other jumper in hand which saves me a turn and he passes. I draw for turn 
turn, overlay into Galaxy Photon Dragon and attempt to use its effect, but that too gets negated so I pass turn. But I just say go to game 2 as I won't live this turn regardless. Game 2, I go first, I activate Rhoda adding Thrasher to hand, which I special summon, then I equip Orbital and pop itself to add Delta Wing to hand. I normal summon Delta Wing, using its effect to pull another copy from deck. I overlay into Galaxy Photon Dragon, detach one to add Galaxy Hunter to my hand, which I then activate sending Jumper and adding Galaxy Trace to hand, which I then activate paying 2k, targeting Jumper and special summoning Galaxy Wizard from the deck, which I then XC them into Star Leech Photon Blast Dragon and pass. Now I could have pitched the Nib or any of the other light monsters to get access to Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, but I didn't, and even if I had, I don't think it would have made much of a difference. William draws for turn and right away Kaiju's my Star Liege and follows that up with Misk to Grave and then activates Lost World. He also banishes Misk to bring out Armador Archosaur, Archosaur pops Baby to search Pill, Baby effect to special summon Soul Eating Over Raptor, so then it's Chainlink 1 Ovi, Chainlink 2 Lost World giving me a token. Ovi searches Xeno Metrios, normal Petite effect of Ovi to pop Petite to bring back Baby, Petite special summons Grab Raptor, off of its effect, Raptor's effect to pop itself, then Xeno Metrios effect to special summon itself, and off Raptor's effect adds Chimera to hand, and then he goes into more Dino plays and I scoop. Now I did nip him at one point but all I got rid of was a Pentestag so it didn't really do anything to him and thus me never beating his dino deck continues. Now let's see who I'm going up against for round two. Round two I'm paired with my other friend TCG Paladin on Instagram who's also called Michael and I was paired with him at the end of the Road to Local series. This time he's playing Crystal Beasts. I win the die roll and opt to go second. TCG Paladin attempts to activate crystal bond but I ash it. It then summons sapphire pegasus using its effect to set crystal beast rainbow dragon in the spell trap zone. Then he uses its effect to banish itself and special summon a crystal beast but its effects are negated and add an ultimate crystal monster to hand. He brings out cobalt eagle and adds rainbow dragon to hand. He then overlays into number 41 baguska the terribly tired taper. Then activates necro valley and passes turn. I draw for turn. I normal summon delta wing using its effect but Michael drops Ash but I chain cross out banishing the third copy of Ash as I opened with two in my hand. I then special summon the other Delta Wing, make Galaxy Photon Dragon detached to add Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon from hand. I then activate Photon Sanctuary getting two tokens to which I tribute them to special summon Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon and pass turn. My opponent draws for turn and in standby detaches for Baguska. Now in main one he attempts to activate Foolish Burial Goods which I Ash right away. He then passes turn. I draw for turn, equip Photon Orbital to Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, then pop itself to add Afterglow to hand, and then I special summon it to make number 62, then C62. Putting some pressure on my opponent while he has Necro Valley on the field, I can't make C62 have big attack, but it's still on 6900 with 500 attack boost being from Galaxy Photon Dragon. I then pass turn. My opponent draws, sets and pass, to which I draw, set imperm and pass, and my opponent attempts to use evenly match in my end phase, which is illegal as I didn't enter my battle phase that turn, but regardless I chain imperm negating my Galaxy Photon Dragon, which because it was set in the same column, it switches evenly match off. He draws for turn and Baguska pops itself. In the standby, he then sets to pass. I draw for turn, switch my monsters to attack, and swing for game. Game 2, I made go first, I normal summon Galaxy Summoner and equip Orbital, then I use Orbital's effect to pop itself, adding Galaxy Trace to hand, which on watching this back I realize I misplayed here, as I can only add Galaxy or Photon monsters to hand. So moving forward just now, everything I do this turn is a misplay due to adding Trace to hand. I then activate it, special summoning from Grave Orbital and special summoning Wizard from deck and make Galaxy Photon Dragon. Now here's what I could have done differently and still end with Galaxy Photon Dragon. I could have added Photon Vanisher and Special Summon it from hand and that would have gotten me there. I detach to add Galaxy Soldier then I Special Summon it by pitching Jumper so it's Chainlink 1 Soldier, Chainlink 2 Jumper so I'm adding Galaxy Expedition and Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon to hand. Now here's also where this misplay messes with my end board. So I tribute Galaxy Summoner and Soldier 
to special summon Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, since Galaxy Photon has pumped up Summoner to 2100 attack. I then use Expedition to special summon Afterglow from deck and make number 90 and pass. Now, because of my misplay, I still have Galaxy Photon Dragon. If I hadn't have misplayed, it would have just been number 90. TCG Paladin draws for turn and activates Rainbow Bridge to add a Crystal Spell or Trap to hand. He then activates Crystal Bond, adding Sapphire Pegasus to hand. I quick effect use number 90's other effect to attach a photon or a galaxy as material or add to hand. So I add galaxy 100 to hand. And then he puts Crystal Rainbow Dragon in the Spell Trap Zone, then uses its effect to banish itself and Special Summon Amber Mammoth, which has its effects negated, and adds Rainbow Dragon to hand. Then he activates Golden Rule, which he added off of Rainbow Bridge, placing two more Crystal Beasts in the Spell Trap Zone, and Special Summons a different Crystal Beast from either hand or graveyard with a different name. Then he sets a... he sets... Crystal Beast, Tobas Tiger, and Emerald Tortoise, and Special Summon Sapphire Pegasus. He tries to use its effect, but I negate and destroy it with number 90, and since I detach Afterglow, I can Special Summon Galaxy's Photon Dragon from deck. He then targets Crystal Rainbow Dragon and returns it to the deck and Special Summon Nemesis Corridor. He then Fusion Summons into Thunder Dragon Colossus by tributing Corridor, since it's used its effect in hand. He then Normal Summons another copy of Pegasus and uses its effect to place Ruby Carbuncle in the Spell Trap Zone. Then he makes Abyss Dweller and attacks Galaxy Photon Dragon and passes turn. I draw for turn and pass. Then my opponent draws and in the standby I use number 90's other effect to attach Galaxy Brave as material. Now my opponent makes a big misplay that costs him the duel. He normal summons Cobalt Eagle, then he links into Scareclaw Tri Heat and attempts to book a moon my field, to which I negate and destroy it. Then he passes turn. I draw for turn, activate Galaxy 100, send Jumper to Grave, Jumper adds Sanctuary, activate Sanctuary, get two tokens and then Tribute to Tribute Summon Photon Emperor and make number 62 then C62, switch number 90 to attack and attack for game so currently i'm now 1-1 one, one. okay so for round two, i um i have the buy so already now be best record that i've had since coming here 2-1 currently um so very happy with that so now i've just got to twiddle my thumbs for the next 45 minutes so that should be yes time they, they're already started. Been ready. <laughs> <laughs> Always ready. <laughs> Born ready. I feel like these games are gonna go. On. Okay, my one winning for coming seven. Uh, let's let's see. I opted to go for the OTS twenty five. I hope this sounds good because my headphones are probably in my bag. So we have this one, Wise Tricks, and Fire King Avatar. Ed Arvieta. I don't know what that does. Okay, so it's now the next day, the following day. And um, so, yeah, as you've seen, uh, before I ended up, I was on a 2 1 record. I won one match against my friend and I had the buy for uh, round three. So, for round four, I was paired with um, someone new that uh, is their first time being here at this locals. And they were playing, um, you know, branded Despia, and uh, so they had a record of, um, I believe it was one, 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 one win, one loss, and a draw uh, for the last round. Um, so unfortunately, they did win. Uh, game one, I just bricked hard. Like I had. Uh, Afterglow in hand, I had Galaxy Brave in hand, and I had um, Photon Lord in hand. So yes, I could get Galaxy Brave out from my, uh, out of, onto the field, um, still just didn't matter. So unfortunately, uh, I had, it was a quick concede of game one. Game two, however, um, I opt to go uh, second, because for game one, I went first. And so they do their, you know, the normal uh, Albaz, um, you know, Despia stuff, uh, branded fusion and all that uh, stuff. And so pass turn to me. So I had opened up basically full combo because uh, I didn't even side, you know, get for round two and this uh, and round four. I did not side at all. The only time I sided was against William for his True King Dino deck. 
Um, and so I attempted to pop off and had they not opened a check for everything that I could do with hand track wise, um, it was a quick concede of uh, game two. So I got two owed. But I, so that means I finished with a 2-2 two, two record, which is massive, you know, con considering the fact that f for the past, the pr previous three weeks, it's always been one win and X amount of loss, depending on how many rounds of locals there were. You know, last week was there was only like three rounds, so I went 1-2. The first two weeks were four rounds and I went 1-3, but this week I went 2-2. Two, two. So, yeah. So how did the rest of my friends do? You know, um, the other Michael uh, went X3 drop, zero wins, three losses, and dropped out of the final round. Um, uh, William got the same record as me, 2-2. Two, two. Uh, so me and him tied for sixth, but because he had a higher ranking on Neuron than me, he was given sixth, I was given seventh. Um, and then Gerald, I think he came... Uh, second or third one of the two um no i think i, I think it was second because i think he only had one loss um this and uh, that entire locals so yeah massive massive positive uh changes you know um i i i made some changes to the deck prior to to locals and things went massively smoothly now galaxy eyes will not be the deck that I, I, i'll be playing for much longer because uh, I am working on a very secret deck. I just need to play test it and learn how to actually play the, the thing. Because I got the deck core um, yesterday uh, before locals and, <gasps> excuse me, uh, so I just need to build it. So that would be like probably like several weeks down the line where I'll take a break from playing Galaxy Eyes and bring this new deck with me. So that is going to wrap this video up because I still have to go finish uh, editing out down games one and games two, uh, rounds one and two. Um, so thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. There will of course be another uh, local chronicles uh, next Wednesday. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I shall catch you all on the next upload. I'll see you all next time.